Connor. Thank God I found you. Commander Washington? I'm attacked by a new enemy. I fear I will succumb. What has come over you? God damn it, man, I need your help. Perhaps you should sit and tell me the problem. My God, I, I don't know what's happened. I've become... It's the dreams. They're driving me mad. I never thought you were a man that would be disturbed by dreams. You don't know. You can't understand. They beguile me with fantastical visions. In my dream, I met Mount Vernon during the war. In fact, in the dream, there is no war. I stay with Martha, tending to my fields, peaceful and content. It sounds like paradise. No, they don't stop there. The peace of the vision pushes me to... The dreams become unspeakable. You are in them, Connor. I believe the visions come from this. Where did you get it? It was taken from a captured officer at Yorktown. There was something compelling about it, so I kept it on my person. It's strange, for I cannot remember that officer's face. May I see it? You are not thinking clearly. You're right. It is the dreams. The dreams that come from this apple. Adonhangedon, wake up. Adonhangedon, rise, we must go. <laughs> Mother, what are you doing here? Are you still dreaming? We came here together. Now we must go. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. But you're here. I am here, I have always been here. Uh, are you all right? Better than all right. Good. Now come. I have heard screaming in Ganyan Geha close by. We must learn what is going on. This could all be my fault. What is your fault? What have you done?
On the right. You tried to steal I'll the source the of his power. Stop there, you. She's not the one you want. Fish in a barrel, mate. Why has Washington sent his men to raid the frontier? Washington? To find somebody. A native woman who tried to take it from him. Well, he will not find me by you. <gasps> What could Washington have to do with this? He is no longer commander-in-chief. He retired to Mount Vernon. A lovely fantasy right on Hagelin. You know Washington went mad with power long ago. I tried to stop him, but failed. And now I have brought down his wrath upon my own people. I do not understand. None of it fits. King are we... Washington's men are raiding Concord right now, murdering everyone. They're looking for you, Ganadio. King Washington. Come. Who imagined he would strike us so recklessly? Are you talking about Commander Washington? Why did that woman call him king? Many innocent people are suffering because of me. Not only the villagers, we must protect as many as we can. Only tell us where she is, and these people live, refuse, and they burn. It's really quite simple. We don't know who you want. Very well. Please, please. There are women and children in there. Are you a monster? Do not do this. You had your chance. Do it quietly. Don't let them see you. Take them by surprise. town as possible. Find shelter in the forest.
I cannot understand what is going on. Retreating! We have done it! Washington's troops do not retreat. They advance or die. To Lexington. We'll have a better vantage point from there. If I had only succeeded in taking a scepter, now I must make amends. Scepter? Mother, this all becomes more and more difficult to understand.
There she is. The savage that tried to steal the source and symbol of my power. Gaze upon it, or it will be the last object you will ever see. I come here to destroy both you and your sad village. But none like you will be allowed to live. Commander Washington, why are you doing this? After all we accomplished, take hold of your senses. <laughs> Another delusional savage. I have never had such a firm grasp on my senses. Now bend your knee to your monarch and make penitence in the last moments before you are blasted to your dread reward. Corporal, take care of them. Brother Hageron, a blue coat over there. Stop them from setting off the powder kegs. Kill anyone trying to light the fuses. He tried to destroy the entire town. It is all my fault. I do not understand. Washington knows me. He is a man of reason, if nothing else. But that was not the man I once called my friend. Are you confused? When would you ever have met that monster? I met him. I... Mother, this is all wrong. Washington, the violence, all of it. We must get back and warn our people in the village before the Mad King spreads his destruction there. Get on that horse. Take that horse, Brother Hagel! Lexington I knew was the scene of a great triumph. Now it is a place of disaster. This way. It will be faster.
Mad King George is on the warpath and intends to destroy our village. We need every able body to protect it. Come with us. We know. Oyanair sent us to collect the boughs of the Great Willow. She means for us to defend our people. To make the tea? Has she lost her senses? The tea's pitfalls overshadow its power. You must not do it. You have seen what it can do. Is it dangerous? I have seen it. It is worse than dangerous. It is a promise of madness, even death for those who lack the constitution. We cannot disobey the clan, mother. Believe me! The tea of the Great Willow is folly. Come back with us. We will fulfill the clan mother's request. We will collect the bows. Speak to Oyanair, and if you can convince her, we will burn them. I intend. What is the tea of the Great Willow? Something our people should never have discovered. It is the tea brewed of the Great Willow's virgin boughs and consumed by our warriors. It grants certain strengths for the Hungarian, but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. Did you drink it? Never. But I have seen what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. I will not allow you to drink it. Thank the maker we are not too late. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths? We can fight them as human beings! My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the king. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. Then, like you, he will die. old woman. What would you have us do, mother? We have no choice but to fight. I know. I have something that will help. Something from your father. My father? He left it for you long ago. Before he died. My father left those for me. It is part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. And I know what those are. You do? They will certainly help. How do you know all this? I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you. Here. They 
will show you no mercy. General Putnam, General Arnold, I sometimes despair of our project. I question my abilities and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. We will bring it with fists of iron. And I have assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Thank you. Honorable gentlemen, this country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! You will not succeed here. <laughs> you? You survived. How astonishing. This time I'll make certain of your death. Fighting the force of liberty. Away with you! With my power, I will rule over a free world! that here for good measure He is awake. Where are we? Safe place, by the grace of your brothers. Uh, uh. 
the village. King George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen, and now she is dead. You take the news well. It is something that I knew. That I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution... How did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. But now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving, staying out of his way. It's your mother tried to steal it from him. And that just angered him more. Now, our king are dead. And the people of the frontier murdered and imprisoned. How did we survive? By the strength granted us. By the great willow. The strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone. Redonagedon. It falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow, climb her, retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy, drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. What power? Gather your strength and I will show you. You are ready. Great Willow, at the top of the mountain. Yes. I will return with the boughs and perhaps some fresh meat to cook. Oh, never mind the meat. Just bring back the branches, boil them in water, and drink the tea. Only then will you be ready to return and fight back with your brothers. Drink her strength. Become one of us. Leave no tracks leading here upon your return. Go! I will meet you at the Red Willow Tree. This lock. You are on your own now. How dangerous is it? Each journey to the Sky World is unlike any other. For some, it is very dangerous. You will find your answers are at the very top of the Willow.
I am sorry, Mother. I must speak to Washington to make sense of this. It is the only way. Was it just a dream? Could I... Could I actually... You best stop moving. In my sight, it. clear as day. And so you die! My tomahawk. They have taken it. I shall enjoy getting it back. Stop me with such power. Brother Hongedon, I am happy to see you. Hello, my friend. Have you seen my brother? I last saw him just before I climbed the Red Willow Tree. We were tracking bluecoats and lost sight of each other. 
I am worried that he is captured. I fear you may be right. Was your sky journey successful? Very successful. Perhaps you can join me in the search for my brother. Any secrets you learn from your journey may be very useful. Such a great warrior must not be lost to us. Of course I will help you. We are almost there. Last I saw my brother, he was right around here. This old man's body is still warm. In this weather, it cannot be more than two hours since he died. During your sky journey, tell me, what animal called to you? It is difficult to talk about, but I was fortunate to meet the wolf. You journey to a powerful place. You are fortunate. Perhaps. This fire is still smoking. They were just here. This is my brother's bow. It is certain that he was here. The blue coats were here. Let's keep searching. After the fight, the prisoners were marched up the hill. You seem to have the nose of the wolves. your spirit animal. I feel we will need help. I see that I was right. Your sky journey has given you a powerful gift. I am certain it will help our search. What do you want with me? I didn't do nothing. Wasn't hurting nobody, just hunting deer. The mother fellers is who you want. What others? Bunch of shoulders. No. Nasty fellers. Saw him rounding up engines over yonder. One of the braves. Did he have a hand marked on his face? You mean like a big tattoo across his chin? Yeah, I seen that fella with him. Hard to miss. Take us to this camp. Uh, sure. Sure. Whatever you gentlemen want. The wolves. Use them. Help me! Savages! I'm gonna help the king! Help! Someone help me! They're going to kill me!
Oh, oh. oh Yanner. Yeah, oh. Well done, I get on. Arnold's men followed your trail back here. Your brothers fought well, but there were too many. I thought the tea gives strength, not immortality. It gives me life. I have never felt anything like it. You must be careful. Respect the power of the tea. Your mother was right to worry about the danger. Uh, I am certain I can defeat anyone. Good. First, kill Arnold. Stop the destruction here. Then kill Washington. You must succeed. Radomagedon. If not you, nobody. I got the man yesterday for having dirt in his musket. I'm all for weeding out the weak, but this is something else entirely. Be careful, lad. We're on the right side, but that doesn't mean we're safe. We dealt with those savages like we were supposed to. Tough as nails they was, but we got them down. Oh, good. We have nothing to worry about. Don't be so sure. We've got one more day in this place before we're relieved, and then it's off to the Valley Forge awaiting orders from Commander Putnam. Where's Arnold? gone off into some sort of seclusion until the king accepts his plans. Putnam is acting commander until Arnold comes back. I would help you with your people, but I must get to Valley Forge. Once everyone is safe at the refugee camp north of here, I will join you at Valley Forge to help you to repay your kindness. No need. But if I see you there, I will be happy for your help. You may find other camps full of our enslaved people. They are sad reminders of Arnold's terror and devastation. It's very dangerous here. Guards everywhere. They stalk the edges of the camp with dogs. These are very good dogs, Radunagedon. Alert, with sharp eyes. If you get even many yards away from them, they yowl and bring the soldiers. Thank you. It is not safe here. Go home. You have repaid my kindness. You will succeed, Radunagedon. Goodbye.
Must speak with Arnold myself. Yes, sir. I'll arrange a detail to escort you immediately. I do not need one. You are acting commanding officer in my absence. If anything should go wrong, well, your widow will be provided for. Dismissed! Yes, sir. Not so bad. The bear's in a cage. Cage don't look too strong to me. As soon eat us as look at us. He looks friendly enough. <laughs> friendly until he's angry. Even so, our duty ain't as bad as Addy's. Why? What's Harry got to do? Clean the cage. I have waited a long time to end your treachery. You escaped me once, but today you die. Who are you? What, what is happening? You know who I am. I've never seen you before in my life. Washington's apple. He, he uses it to control men. You, you have to believe me. I, I, I was not of my right mind. What you did at West Point was of no one's mind but yours. West Point? I, uh, I never set foot in that fort in my life. Please. Washington. He's 
gone mad. You, you have to bring him down. He's, he's no more a man but a monster. Find Benjamin Franklin in Boston. Uh, he can help you. But you have to, you have to free him. Free him from where? Where? Enjoy your nap! <laughs> it's a shame about old Arnold, but I had to laugh at your expression when I hit you. Great big eyes and then out! <laughs> out like a light! Goddamn you, Putnam! <laughs> you woke up just in time. We're arriving in Boston. Town that will soon be mine. Washington will love it. But, sir, the man who defied you, the man you shot point blank, I give him to you as a little gift. <laughs> Look, he wears a wolf hat, too! You have gone mad! All of you! <laughs> With that, he'll kick out Ben Franklin for sure. Boston will be mine. It's in the bag. Just like your head! <laughs>